So one of the things I'd really love to get better at is step four. Step one is ask. Contrast helps you. Step two is source answers. Step three is you get in the receiving mode. Step four is you're really good at being in the receiving mode. Funny that step four is just being good at step three, but step four is just mastery of it. You care about feeling good and you're playing the satisfaction game. And then step five is step five is really our favorite step. That's when you are back in a contrasting moment and you're still happy. The contrast isn't setting you off your game. You see it for what it is, the valuable thing that it is. Yeah. Okay. So then maybe it's more four to five. So I've gotten fairly good at the first few steps a few days of the week. So there's seven days a week and don't pat yourself on the back too much. Step one, <laughs> that's a no brainer. You can't get out of step one. Life just happens and you launch rockets, whether you want to or not. Step two, we're doing. So the first two steps, you get no credit whatsoever for. That's the universe. That's life coming at you. Step three is the first thing you got to do. And you know what it is? Be happy. We know it's a challenge. Feel good. And then you know what step four is? like feeling good that's all like it so much that you're willing to do it like it so much that you're willing to be aware like it so much that you're willing to catch it in the early subtle stages like it so much that you're willing to know when you are and know when you aren't and you know you're very smart that you want to weave four and five together because step five which is being in step one and not being upset about it that's really because you've mastered step four because you like so much feeling good, you're not willing to beat up on yourself anymore. So life came at you and gave you more contrast. Does that make you bad? No, that makes you fulfilling your reason for being. You didn't say, I'll go forth and I'll rid the world of contrast, or I'll go forth and I'll be oblivious to contrast. You said, I'll go forth and I'll accept contrast as my friend. The other morning, Esther woke up. We keep telling you, we wake her up. We feel happy about her life. So happy about her life that she goes. <laughs> and then she looks at her clock and thinks, what the hell? <laughs> it's still dark outside. Why am I awake? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> and the thought that's in her mind is she sees the infinity sign or the eternity sign, call it whatever you want. So we said to her, because it was on its side look at it and see one end of it is contrast and the other end of it is desire or belief and desire in other words and see how it all fits together and see how eternity is made up of knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want the contrast launching the desires the question brings the answer and the problem brings the solution how it all fits together make peace feel appreciation for all of this contrast so when new contrast shows itself to you because you want expansion then thank the contrast that's shown itself to you because as it shows you what you don't want it shows you what you do want you cannot be the eternal being that you are without all of that yes and so doesn't it make you want to make peace with it and there's some rascal upsets you and you think that was rude and unnecessary I don't like being upset or you could think oh You've just helped me launch another desire, another clarifying aspect to my expansion, which I must have because of all the things that I am, eternal is the most significant. And without something that causes me to ask, then I would cease to be. And since I cannot cease to be, then thank you for the direction along the way. Thank you. Thank you for the focus. For the focus that I get to now define. Thank you for the question or the problem that is now causing me to focus in the direction of the answer or the solution. Thank you for producing more impetus for my life, which I love. That's step five. Yahoo! Somebody to hate. <laughs> for just a minute until I realize that's not who I am. So I got to work this out because I hate you. 
because of the way you're behaving when I look at you I feel hatred because of who you're being and I also feel disembodied from who I really am I also feel complete disconnection from the love that is me so now I got some things to think about my hatred of you or the true love that is me which means I either got to get my attention off of you or I got to find some things about you that I can appreciate and as you find things to appreciate about the most egregious of beings you come into true ownership of who you are and the universe expands because you and they have helped you to focus into what is really wanted you say you have to stay satisfied you have to be satisfied the source energy is on it you have to be satisfied that you've launched the rocket you have to be satisfied that the vibrational reality exists you have to feel satisfied that everyone has the ability to get what they want you have to feel satisfied that you are satisfied that's the most important thing be satisfied that you are satisfied and then ask for awareness of improvement ask for awareness that the pressure is being taken off watch for the benefit Esther finds herself feeling like you're feeling often because she thinks I'm living happily ever after can't I use my alignment in ways to really put some emphasis on some things that could really matter but almost every time she steps into that arena she doesn't mean to but she finds herself pushing against those she believes caused the problem and then she's worthless to the solution because now she's back in step one again so you got to really be in step five you got to be really willing to give up your attitude about the problem causers and surrender yourself to the solution you have to surrender yourself to the solution it's one or the other you can't be active on both so what you're saying is the answer is laughing and singing and playing all day that's it <laughs> and feeling interested and feeling proud of yourself and liking what you see in others and seeing the positive aspects in that and that and that and adoring the planet and loving the way the ocean is and seeing how blue the water is and appreciating the balance of the planet and devouring the food and feeling appreciation for all of those who contributed to the bringing of it to you it's endless it just goes on and on and on and on there is so much to focus upon that gives you satisfaction I'm completely satisfied <laughs> But right after here. you play with this a little bit, if you focus on the things that are easy to feel satisfying about, till you get really hooked on the feeling of satisfaction. Example. The example of, well, what's the easiest thing? Give me thing? an example so you see the easiest things, right? I mean. Can you give us an example of the easiest thing to feel satisfied well, about? Well, I see like 20 million things going on, so I'm trying to, I want everything, so I'm trying to figure, okay, slow down. Just pick one, Dorothy, pick one, right? You're in this chair right now. I picked. Oh my gosh, I'm satisfied. I'm so happy. And so you're in this chair right now. Is that satisfying? Yes, I, I am. I was in a sea of people who all had their hands up, and Abraham got me. Okay, so now I want to get better at that now because, you know, she now got me. Now you're not me. satisfied. Okay, yes, I'm satisfied. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So when you find something that's easy to be satisfied about, okay. and there are always those things around you then you get hooked on that feeling of satisfaction so the feeling becomes what you're reaching for not the benefit of the feeling it's the feeling that you're reaching for I want to feel satisfied and I don't care what it takes to feel satisfied if I have to focus I will so satisfying and staying in a satisfying place whatever is in my vortex staying can there I just means keep choosing things that are satisfying and recognizing when I begin to deviate and then pulling back and letting satisfaction be the goal again because you see if the goal isn't satisfaction if the goal is making more money all kinds of thoughts might lead you away from satisfaction if the goal is being understood instead of being satisfied then all kinds of things might take you away from satisfaction it's only when satisfaction is really what you're going for
It's only when satisfaction is really what you're going for. It's only when being in the receptive mode is really what you're going for. It's only when being tuned in, tapped in, turned on is really what you're going for. It's only when the leverage of source energy is really what you're going for. It's only with seeing through the eyes of source is really what you're going for. In other words, satisfaction, we don't want for a moment to diminish its value in your eyes. Satisfaction is everything because satisfaction is your key to the big energy. Satisfaction is your key to the big guys, to the big room, to the big results. Satisfaction is the key but satisfaction is so easy to accomplish so when you say I want it more than life itself you've made it so big you can't find it but when you say I want satisfaction now you've made it reachable so now I'm also we're at the point where I'm satisfied and that's where the momentum builds with the, the satisfaction and why does the momentum build because I'm finding more and more things to no, get satisfied you're not, no you're not finding them no you know is bringing it to me and why because I'm satisfied and but I'm why? enjoying more and more things are coming. Because in satisfaction, there's no resistance. And when law of attraction responds to your vibration of no resistance, it has to get more. It's a law of physics. Satisfaction, no resistance. No resistance, more momentum. More momentum, more power. More fun. It's way more fun to go 100 miles an hour than five. So is universe also guiding me as I'm starting on more smaller things that I'm satisfied that I have no resistance against? Universe isn't guiding you. You're guiding you because your inner being has already pointed at what you want. As you reach for satisfaction, you go where you want to go. Key right there. Big key. And you go where you're looking. Jerry learned that with Esther. They're driving down the freeway in the monster bus. Esther's usually driving. And he'd say, oh, look at that rainbow. And Esther would go over there. <laughs> He got so, if it wasn't dead ahead, he never pointed it out. <laughs> because you tend to go where you're looking. So, Abraham, I noticed, you know, just coming into this for the first time, right? And I, I used to stumble into it, okay? And then I would be like, well, how did that happen? But now I know why. Deliberate creation is so much more delicious than creation yes. by default. Yes, yes. Yes. Everybody can stumble into some moments of satisfaction, but you know what that does? That leads to you wanting to control conditions because when you see a condition that makes you feel satisfied and you kind of stumble into it, then you think, oh, well then in order for me to be satisfied, which I like, then I have to control these conditions, which I can't do. But when you show yourself how you can be satisfied because you have the ability to focus and there's always plenty to be satisfied about, now you're home free.